1968 Cadillac convertible. Uh, it's in great shape. 53,000 original miles. Um, it's pretty incredible. Let me uh, give you a quick walk around. Well, anyways, I guess we'll start at the front. The uh, grill is in excellent condition. I would say incredible condition. The uh, chrome is very nice. You, I haven't even cleaned it up, but uh, there are small pits, I would say small, and they're probably, you know, what would, it would probably rub out. But I don't know, I haven't done anything yet. Uh, the headlights, I know one of the headlights was out. When I drove it, I had to uh, put the brights on. Um, I haven't dealt with that yet. But the, the car's been repainted. I don't know when exactly, but it looks great. Um, I would say maybe it could use a little cut and buff in a few spots. Like you can see where they pulled the trim on the side, but then other pieces they didn't pull and where they had the cut and buff around it, you know, has maybe has a little wave in it. Uh, like for instance, like the door handle or like between the door handle and the lock. There might be like a little wave up in here if you, you know, look at the car from the side all the way down. But I'm saying it's real picky. I mean, real picky. You know, same probably on this side. You can see how you know, here's the turn signal. You can see, you know, there is a little light pitting in there. Shows you the paint a little better, the metallic of the paint. Tires, I was told, had 100 miles on it when I got it. Um, now it's got about 200 miles because that's, I had to drive it home from Sandy Valley, which was about 60 miles. And then I drove it down to the strip and back and that was a lot of fun. The shocking part of that is I can't believe how much attention this car gets. I thought the pink Cadillac got a lot of attention, which it does, it's back there. Um, but this got just as much as attention. I was, I was surprised by that. The top is excellent, goes up and down real well. And I, I'll put it up and down so you can see that. You can see how straight the chrome is. Um, the rear bumper is a little worse than the front bumper, and it seems to be it seems to be that way with every Cadillac. I don't know why, but same thing, the little tiny pits. But uh, you know, I would say it's kind of getting real picky about it at, at some point. It's overall pretty nice. I don't know what you can see with the camera. I hope, I wish, hope you can see. On the other side, the emblem, the DeVille, it's actually, I think they knocked the DE off, which I think is easy to do when you're washing it. Or just the D, it's, it got knocked off. Let me show you the inside and put the top down. I did drive it, the mats are kind of in a, moved around because I drove it. And they're they're actually whitening up real nice, but I drove it, and uh, you know they're a little dirtier. You can see the uh, pedals. Could probably clean them up more, but you can see this is a car that only has fifty three thousand original miles. Here's a door jam. Anyway, let me put the top down. It makes everything easier to see. Here's the 
button. Windows all work. All right, let me step out. The interior um, is a cross between a white and a dove. Like the panels are more white and then the seats are more dove. I think they look really good. See the speaker cover, how nice it is? A lot of these cars, you know, they're dented in and all pitted up. Um, it may need to be cleaned a little bit, like around the uh, emblem, but it's super nice. There is a cover. For back here, I've never put it on, it's in the trunk. Matter of fact, I'll show you the trunk, that way you can see it, but there's my neighbor, nice Bentley. Okay, I had to talk to my new neighbor, he's a cool guy. He's got lots of very cool cars. Uh, anyway, uh, I think we're looking at the interior. It's nice, it's fun. You can see, look at the dash. Everything isn't all pitted up. Matter of fact, it's not pitted at all in here. It's not pitted at all. Uh, you can see some of the wood is a little worn, but I think just the heat here kills it. The dash has no cracks in it. It's nice. I should have put the mats, laid them a little nicer and cleaned them up. I guess I didn't put this window down all the way, but it goes down. All right, I'll show you the trunk. Put the key in the hole. I just went, you know, the show for it from the beginning. How these work is so cool. You can see there's some spot on the paint but uh just because you know my cleaner detailer whenever i did that last i left a spot anyway I'll just leave it in there here's the trunk it's super nice i pulled it back when i bought it i pulled the carpet back a little bit to see if there was any rust um it's glued down, so I can only pull it a little bit, but it looks really good. You can see the uh, jack is there. And then this is the bonnet that goes in the back. It's in, it's in good shape. I just haven't put it on. You can see this piece, the, the dust guard. They painted it. Why, I don't know, that should be black, but it's no big deal. But it would look nicer black, in my opinion. See the jacking instructions are there. See all in the jam, I mean, it's, it, it's nice. So here's the engine compartment. I have not cleaned it. It is dirty. Um, the siblings that uh, sold me this car, they lived on a dirt road. The car was left down in the garage. It was beautiful in the garage, but as soon as you leave and go down the road, there was this white chalky dirt that got on the car. Not for very far, but enough to, you know, you can see this white chalky dirt in there. Uh, if I keep it any longer, I'll clean that up. Battery's new. See the dual master as opposed to the single master on the older cars. Uh, I'd much rather have a dual master. Much safer. But that's the engine compartment. Let me shut the hood. I love the sound. Took two hands. Anyway, 
that's it. I hope you like it. It's a nice car. I don't think you can go wrong. You know, I thought I'd try and get under the car a little bit here. I, uh, I've never had it on a lift. I just laid down and looked at it like this when I bought it. You can see it's got these cobwebs still. It's sad a lot. But uh, it's uh, super, super dry. Nevada car. One thing I noticed when I looked in the back was it had new shocks. I'll go back there. All right, here's the back. You can see the muffler looks brand new. Um, the shocks, they're new. It's super solid. I mean, it's super Nevada solid. If I have it longer, I'll detail the under, underneath. By detailing, I mean I'll spray it off and uh, I'll try and get some pictures under here. But uh, it's really, Kurt's fantastic. Again, you can't go wrong. One more little quick video. I mean, here's where you'd find rust. Right here. And there's no rust. I mean, it's a little discolored. Probably could be polished and clean, but. It's a great looking car.